Hi, my name is Dr. Rachel Venable, and I'm a veterinary oncologist. And I wanted to talk with you all today about what is staging? I think it's a, a phrase that we hear thrown around a lot, you know, with people, we hear people say, oh, they have stage four breast cancer or, you know, stage one lung cancer, or, you know, you, you just, you hear all these things, it's a bit thrown around. And, and I think a lot of times we don't really know what that means. We know the bigger the number, that that's probably bad, um, but we don't really know beyond that. So what is your oncologist talking about when they say stage? So today I'm going to go in more detail about what is stage, just so you have a better understanding. And actually, even though I'm a, a veterinary oncologist, and so we're gonna focus on animals, but staging, this is again, something in people. So you can actually, you know, kind of kill two birds with one stone today, right? You can learn more about animals, but you can learn about people as well. And hopefully it's information you're never really gonna need. But if you do unfortunately have a pet or someone you know that has cancer, you know, it would be good if you knew what staging meant. So staging is basically to see where else in the body there could be disease. So is, has it spread? You know, that's usually the big thing. And there depends on the cancer as far as where the tumor may go. You know, there's a, a lot of tumors that may only travel through the blood. And so if it goes through the blood, more often we're worried about the lungs. So the testing that your vet will talk to you about or your oncologist would be chest x-rays. That's a, a very simple non-invasive test. Um, or they might talk to you about a CT scan. That's a more detailed, advanced kind of 3D x-ray to get a look at the chest. You know, people, often we do CT scans. In our animals, it's a little bit trickier because we have to sedate them. They don't understand that there's a moving table. So in people, if you've ever had a CT, there's a table that moves basically in and out of a giant circle. And they'll just tell you, you know, hold your breath, don't move. And it's a pretty quick process. And our dogs, as soon as that table moves, or even our cats, they, they all try to jump off. And any movement, the radiologist can't read the images. And so they can't give you results. So it's a little bit trickier in our animals because we have to sedate them. But usually it's a really short procedure. So it, it's definitely still a very doable test. But x-rays is something that every veterinary clinic is going to have access to, whereas a CT, not so much. It will depend on your area. Usually it's more specialty hospitals. The other place that we'll look a lot is the local lymph nodes. So, so depending on the tumor, if it spreads through the lymphatics, then it could go to the regional lymph nodes. And that's one of the first places we could see it. And again, this is something we hear a lot in people. You hear it like with breast cancer, they talk a lot about the lymph nodes or colon cancer, all, all different types because they want to check those lymph nodes. And our dogs and cats, again, it depends on the tumor type, but they may go through the lymph nodes and potentially the lungs as well. Um, it, it's not very often that it would only go through the lymph nodes and couldn't go through the lungs. That, that situation doesn't happen too much. What more is a situation that you want is that it hasn't spread at all. And so you check those areas and hopefully it's all negative, but if it's not, that is going to change what treatment and testing and prognosis you're going to do down the road. And so to check the local lymph nodes, normally it's uh, pretty non-invasive. It's called a, an aspirate and cytology. So an aspirate, what we do is we take a small needle, like what we used to collect blood, we poke in the lymph node, and then we're able to look at those cells on a slide under the microscope. And so your vet would send that out to the lab, and then a pathologist there would look at those slides and see, okay, are these normal lymph node cells, or are we seeing some tumor cells in here? Sometimes we end up actually having to do a biopsy or removal of the lymph node. Um, that would certainly let you know 100% if there's any disease in there, and it can also be a treatment. But sometimes removing the lymph nodes can be a more advanced surgery, or we worry, could that, you know, is that more than what really needs to be done? So generally, we'll start with that simple needle aspirate and go from there. But your vet or your veterinary oncologist may talk with you about just removing that lymph node, depending on where the tumor is or the, the high level of suspicion they may have if there's disease there. So those are really the, the big areas that we'll check. Sometimes we'll look at other organs and like liver and spleen could sometimes be involved. Sometimes with tumors, you know, depending where in the body, we may need to do more advanced imaging to even see the local lymph nodes. So other things, 
you might hear your vet or your veterinary oncologist. So they may talk with you about doing an abdominal ultrasound. They may talk to you again about that CT scan. And that's just to check other areas of the body. So what we're doing with staging again is we're trying to make sure, okay, is the tumor anywhere else? Because if it is, that changes treatment and it changes prognosis. So it's very important information to have. And it's also really important that you understand what your vet and your veterinary oncologists are saying to you and helping, you know, what they're trying to describe. So just remember if your pet is diagnosed with cancer, just try to get that information from your vet or your vet oncologist as far as, okay, is the disease anywhere else? What testing do we need to do? And remember to always check us out. You can go to our website at petcancercareconsulting.com. And remember, we can partner with your family vet. So we can also provide oncologists to help give you more information about your pet's cancer, testing, treatment, prognosis. And we can also follow along with your vet as far as providing any protocols they may need or follow up as well. So it's something that, you know, empower yourself, get more knowledge so you understand what's going on. And also remember that let's get the pet, let's get the care that our pets deserve. Thanks.